Here is our next example of how we work with uh, combustion in a bomb kilometer. Uh, this is a good example. Here we're trying to figure out the enthalpy change of the reaction. So that's what we're looking for. What is the enthalpy change of the reaction? What are we reacting? We're taking a 17.8 gram sample of ethanol, C2H5OH, and it's combusted in the bomb calorimeter. Remember, we use a bomb calorimeter because this combustion will create gases. And gases tend to expand when they're heated. And of course, as gases expand, they do work and they take heat away from the reaction to do the work. And we don't want that to be, be the case. We want that to be contained so that all of the energy from the reaction goes in the calorimeter. The calorimeter has a heat capacity of 7.77 kilojoules per centigrade degree which means for every 7.77 kilojoules of heat you add to the calorimeter, the temperature will go up by 1 degree centigrade. And by doing this experiment, it causes the temperature of the, of the bomb calorimeter to increase, and I'm missing an E here, to increase from 20 degrees centigrade to 81.5 degrees centigrade. And so from this information, we should be able to figure out the enthalpy change of that reaction. So again, remember that what we're doing here is we say that the MC delta T the heat gained by the calorimeter is equal to the heat given off by the reaction and to calculate the heat given off by the reaction this is equal to minus the enthalpy change remember enthalpy when it's negative it gives off heat when it's positive it absorbs heat so in this case it's an exothermic reaction it gives off heat so you have to compensate for the fact that the enthalpy numbers are the negative of the heat release numbers so the negative of the enthalpy change per the reaction times, now we have to compensate for how many moles of the reactant there are, and in the case of, a, of an enthalpy reaction, I mean of a, a combustion reaction of ethanol, we only have one mole of ethanol in the reaction, so it's the one reaction divided by one mole, or the number of moles, I'll just put in general the number of moles of the reactant, times the mass of the sample divided by the mass per mole. So that's our general equation. And now, recognize what we're looking for is we're looking for this quantity right here. So let me use my red pen to just make it very clear that we're looking for the delta H. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we can solve for delta H by taking this part of the equation and moving all the other parts of the equation to the left side. Remember that this is uh, a fraction set equal to a fraction, so anything in the denominator moves to the numerator when you cross the equal sign, anything in the numerator moves down to the denominator when you cross the equal sign. So what we end up with is the MC delta T, and remember that the MC portion of this is equal to the heat capacity of the uh, calorimeter. So now we take the reaction, put it up here, so times the reaction, times the number of moles, and times the mass per mole, and divide the whole thing by one reaction and the mass of the sample. And then we're going to take a negative and move it over here so that this now becomes a positive delta H. All right, now we'll have to do is plug in everything in this equation. So the MC is the heat capacity. That is 7, and I don't forget the negative there. Negative 7.77 kilojoules per centigrade degree. Multiply times the delta T, the change in the temperature, we went from 20 to 81.5, so that's a change of 61.5 centigrade degrees, 61.5 centigrade degrees. Multiply times one reaction, multiply times the number of moles, which is one, multiply times the mass per mole. Okay, what's the molar mass of ethanol? Well, we have two carbons, so C2H5OH, so we have the mass of two carbons, that's 2 times 12 or 24 grams, the mass of one oxygen, which is 16 grams, and the mass of six hydrogens, 5 plus 1 is 6, that gives us 6 grams. And of course I'm rounding off to the nearest whole gram. Together that forms 46 grams, which is the molar mass of the ethanol, so mass per mole, which is 46 grams per mole. We divide the whole thing by, well, we have a single reaction, and that's to compensate for that, I guess I'll have to write a reaction, I'll just write one, and multiply times the mass of the sample, which is 17.8, and notice grams cancel out, moles will cancel out, uh, 
So we end up with 77.77 kilojoules per mole per centigrade degree. Actually, it's per mole or per reaction. All right. So let's work this out. 7.77. Did I get the point there? 7.77 times 61.5 times 46 and divide by 17.8 equals. And that gives me a total of minus 1,235 kilojoules per mole or per reaction. Since I have one mole in the reaction, either one would work. So that is very close to the number that we're supposed to get because the enthalpy change of the burning of ethanol is right around 1,235 kilojoules uh, per reaction. All right, so that... Um, that works pretty well, and that is pretty well what we do with bomb calorimeters. When we want to find out the enthalpy change of a reaction, we put the reactant in the bomb calorimeter, we light a little spark, the reaction takes place, and then we go ahead and set that the heat absorbed by the calorimeter is equal to the heat given out by the reaction, which can be calculated using this equation. And that's how you do this problem.